Time to go. Reboot. Why do new explorers make the same mistakes over and over again? Uh, Taki Ito? Yeah, I've heard of the guy. Word is, he did something monumentally stupid, then ran off before they could catch him. And to be completely honest, I was a little surprised when I first heard it. Okay, well, I mean, not that surprised. Wait, you mean he already had a bad reputation? Well, no, not exactly. <coughs> He's just very overbearing in everything he does. Big and brash and always making a ruckus. So, on the one hand, he's a larger-than-life kind of guy. But on the other hand, he's emotionally volatile. When he's in a good mood, he's as high as a kite. But when he gets upset, he gets completely enraged. I don't personally see him as a bad guy. But I guess I wouldn't put it past him to get all riled up and lose control. Hmm. You know, I'm afraid that I'm not too sure myself. <coughs> I keep a pretty good eye on what's happening in the city, and as far as I can tell, he just idles the days away. When someone asks for it, he's willing to lend a helping hand, but other than that, he's just out making a scene with the kids on the street or his gang. <sighs> if I had to guess, his lack of income finally drove him to do something more drastic to make ends meet. I'm afraid that I don't have much else to tell you. He tends to spend his time with people a little more lively than myself. Perhaps you could try asking around some more. Okay, thanks! <laughs> Arataki Ito? Hmm, oh yeah. I heard about that whole thing. I'm sure it must have been a mix-up on the Tenryo Commission's end. He could never do anything so dastardly. Huh? How can you be so sure? Is he really as trustworthy as all that? <laughs> no, perhaps you misunderstand me. When I said he could never do anything dastardly, I meant... He literally doesn't have what it takes. Mm, maybe a story will explain it better. So, he used to spend a lot of time playing rock, paper, scissors and hide and seek with the kids on the streets. Kids being kids aren't exactly the most difficult to outsmart. I'm sure you can see what I'm getting at here. He used to lose all the time, sometimes catastrophically. <laughs> on purpose though, right? No, not at all. The one time I saw him win, he started jumping around and yelling, I won! I finally won! I'm unbeatable! And so on. Then he took the kid's candy as his prize and ate it right there in front of him. Ugh, that's just plain wrong. He did take it way too far that time. The poor kid started crying, so I stepped in and gave Ito a scolding. He was pretty quick to admit that he was fully in the wrong, and it wasn't long before the kid had stopped crying and was laughing and playing again as if nothing had ever happened. In fact, the children quite like playing with him because he's always serious about the stakes and never throws a game on purpose. So, I suppose what I'm trying to say is... Is a guy who can't even beat kids at a children's game really going to be capable of these kinds of diabolical deeds? Huh. He doesn't sound like a bad guy at all. In fact, he kind of sounds like a man of integrity. Yes, my thoughts exactly. Still, the Tenryo Commission's evidence against him is supposed to be irrefutable. So, I'm not trying to condone his actions or anything. If he really has messed up big time, then he should face the consequences just like anyone else. Thanks for the info! We'll keep asking around! A 
Harutaki Ito. <laughs> of course I know him. We've been trying to apprehend him recently. We know he's already left Inazuma City, but with no clues to follow, we have no choice but to commission others for help, including the Adventurers Guild. Catherine says that Arataki Ito hasn't done anything seriously bad before, so it seems pretty strange. Paimon's curious. Is there any evidence of all this stuff he's accused of? Yes, of course. Otherwise, we'd never have put so many people on the case. For starters, most thieves will try to devise a way to conceal their identity, but for an Oni, the horns are a dead giveaway. I mean, the whole city could have recognized it was him. At first, he was just one of our suspects, but when we went to investigate, he personally confessed to everything and started trying to provoke the officers. What's most frustrating is that he then managed to escape along with his entire gang. He must have been planning the whole thing right from the start. Of course he did. Whether material or psychological, there is plenty of evidence either way. He's never had a mora to his name his entire life, and he's never kept down a real job. Word is that he also takes care of someone in his gang, and that the burden of it takes quite the toll on him. After scrounging for a living all these years, maybe he thought that being the bad guy would be an easier ride. As for his psychological motives, it's a bit embarrassing to talk about, but we... <clears throat> confiscated his vision during the Vision Hunt Decree. At the time, Arataki Ito put up quite a fight. It took a huge amount of manpower and resources, and in the end we had to enlist the help of Kujo Sara to finally secure his vision. The vision hunt was a mistake, but we never expected that he would go to such extreme lengths to take revenge on us. He does sound a little unstable, just like people have been saying. If the two of you are able to capture Arataki Ito, please bring him straight here. We'll handle him from there. Detective agency here in Inazuma. Maybe we can try asking this. 